In the UK, one in three people own a pet, from dogs to guinea pigs and horses to lizards. Owning a pet can enrich life in any household. I own a dog and two guinea pigs. I own a pet because I find them quite cute and interesting. So I got the pets from Pets at Home and many dog breeders. I paid about £50 in total for the guinea pigs. I currently own a horse, three dogs, four chickens and two birds. The reason I own pets is from being a small girl, it's always been my passion and hobby. Averagely per month, I would spend on my pets around £280. I own two dogs. I own pets because they're very good company. The pets were from two different breeders. The price of the pets was about £250. I own three cats, one dog and many birds and reptiles. I own pets because I like the comfort of them around the house and just being with them. My mum got my pets from uh, my cats and my dogs from a person which breeds them specially and my dad got them from his friends and all around the world. My dad pays probably £200-£400 for some birds that he's had and my cat, cats cost about £300 each and my dog probably cost about £500. I currently own uh, two horses and I have four bulldogs. I love having them around, um, love spending time with them. I think they're pretty therapeutic and it just helps me to chill out. The dogs actually came to me through rescue. I rescued them, I used to do some dog grooming and I was asked to rescue Hogan and then asked to rescue Darcy and then we chose to breed them. And Tinky was from the first litter and Lady was from the second litter. I've not paid anything for these four, but on average you would normally pay about £2,000 to buy a bulldog. The pets that I own is a macaw and two dogs. I own pets for love and companionship. We got the pets from either local breeders or pet shops. I own a lizard and a cat. I got the lizard a couple of Christmases ago. Um, I just thought they were cool and just wanted to wanted to get one. I got it from Leroy's Lizard Lounge. Um, I checked many exotic pet shops around the area and that was the best one. Best thing about working with pet shop uh, is probably the people you meet um, and the animals that you interact with and everything. Um, you get a lot of characters in there, um, you know, which is good. So it's just probably the best thing about it is meeting different people. The kind of pets we sell in, in air, um, you know, it ranges from fish, insects, um, you know, we, we sell meerkats and stuff like that, but we only sell them to, um, you know, petting zoos, safari parks, you know, that kind of place, not like Joe Public. Maintaining the health and well-being of your pet is crucial when trying to give them a good life. Uh, to look after your dog properly, obviously you need to exercise it two, three times a day. Uh, with my dog being a Westie, they have got a coat that's a double coat that needs to be groomed. So I try and groom him 10 minutes a day just to help him get rid of the rubbish. Um, I bath him as minimal as possible because it's not good for the skin. But I say I do him three, four times a year, if maximum. The maintenance involved is grooming them, keeping the nails cut and taking them to the vets. The maintenance I need to look after my pets is very little really. Taking the dogs for a walk, giving them a bath and a cut and uh, spraying the macaw with some water so that he has a little bath. To look after the pets, for the horses, I have to groom them on a regular basis, but the dogs are a lot easier. Um, they get groomed every week. Obviously, I have to feed them and walk them and look after them. Um, and then it's lots of washing and cleaning up. The parrot's been to the vets for his wing to be clipped so that he didn't fly into things when I first got at him. And the dogs have been to the vets to be castrated. I have taken my pets to the vets, um, usually for their annual vaccinations and for uh, one of my dogs had a tumour. There are over 4,000 veterinary practices in the UK and taking pets for regular checkups and procedures can be very important. I became a veterinary nurse, it's a question I get asked a lot and it's always the same answer because I love animals, love looking after them and um, getting to work with them every day is a real privilege. The best thing about my job is seeing um, patients from start to finish so we welcome them into the practice as puppies or kittens or youngsters and then we, we're here right through to the end for them. To look after my pets I need to clean them out daily like the water, food and also make sure their area is fine. The reason I became a dog groomer is because I've always been interested in animals and it was something that I could set up from home uh, to um, work around my family. I have been a dog groomer for eight years. To become a dog groomer, the training I had to do was a six-week intensive course to get a diploma.